Today is a massive day in astrology because Pluto has finally re-entered Capricorn and this is going to wrap up some massive stories for us around self-healing, owning our authority, and dealing with conflict with amongst other people. So watch this video to find out what it means now that Pluto has re-entered Capricorn and what you can do to navigate this crazy and chaotic transit. Hello and welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Now before I dive into what it means now that Pluto has re-entered Capricorn on its retrograde, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. Also comes as a t-shirt, however I'm gonna say these hoodies are seriously some of the most comfortable hoodies I have ever worn. And that's saying a lot because I'm an Enneagram 9 and I love cozy clothes. So hit the link in the description below to get your My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. Now you're going to want it for this transit because this is quite the massive and chaotic transit we are experiencing. Pluto recently uh, entered Aquarius and this was a massive transit for us because Pluto has been in Capricorn for about 80 years and so this was really the theme for our entire lives, for almost all of us. Pluto and Capricorn highlighted emotional wounds around our relationship with uh, authority figures. And this could see, be seen collectively as we've been noticing a lot of authoritarian rule perhaps, or a lot of restriction and discipline. But as Pluto entered Aquarius, we entered the age of Aquarius, which brought more innovation and community into focus powerful people could have been coming up for us who inspired innovation in our lives. However, shortly after Pluto entered Aquarius, it went retrograde in the sign. And finally, because Pluto moves so slow, Pluto has now in its retrograde re-entered Capricorn for the final time. So what does this exactly mean? And why is this actually a good transit? Because oftentimes you're gonna be looking at astrology right now and you're gonna be seeing a lot of people fear mongering this transit saying, oh my God, it's re-entering Capricorn, prepare to die. You know, Pluto is all about death and transformation. So that must mean we're all about to die, right? But this is actually a very healing transit that can be highly impactful for us. And in fact, should be looked at positively and optimistically rather than some burden we are about to be uh, thrown on us again. So Pluto is the planet of death and transformation. It represents the journey of, let's say, the Phoenix, similar to the Scorpio archetype. Uh, Pluto and Scorpio and even the eighth house all have this commonality of death and transformation. So Pluto is all about death and transformation and it represents what our healing journey is going to center around in many ways. And again, Pluto doesn't move signs very often. So anyone who has Pluto within the same sign, this represents more of the collective healing journey we have to take. Anyone born within the same Pluto sign within that collective age group has a journey to take with helping the collective by healing oneself around a certain energy. For example, I believe I have, I have Pluto in Sagittarius. So anyone else within my age group who has Pluto in Sagittarius is going through a journey around healing our relationship with the visionary, with the idealist, with the traveler. However, as Pluto is in, was in Capricorn for so long, there is a massive journey for us all to take around authoritative rule. Capricorn is not just the archetype of living that grind, the, uh, the boss babe, though it is stereotypically so, it also has to do with self-mastery, self-discipline, and authority. Authority is my favorite word to use right now when explaining Capricorn because it's very relevant to Pluto's transit through Capricorn. So as Pluto was in Capricorn, there was a collective journey for us to all take around owning our own inner authority. There might have been authoritative rule put over us and we feel that it is restricting us to some degree. We have to do this constant inner work with learning how to overcome this restrictive authority. And we were called to focus on our self-mastery. It might have felt like, in a way, 
there was just a little too much Capricorn in the world that was out of our control. There was too much discipline being put on us, too much self-mastery, too much control, restriction, and assertion in a way that basically represented the unhealthy masculine energy. Capricorn is, after all, a masculine archetype, and so this energy really represents the masculine father figures. So generally, too, you could say that with Pluto transiting Capricorn, there's a theme for us all around healing our father wounds. But then, recently, Pluto entered Aquarius, and so this really wrapped up, it felt like, our journey around finding our own inner authority practicing a healthy level of discipline and self-mastery and healing our father wounds. But uh, so that was when Pluto entered Aquarius. That journey was wrapped up and we got to start a new journey with healing our relationship around innovation, focusing on innovation, focusing on the collective and trying to do something bigger and greater with the world. Then Pluto went retrograde and retrogrades are generally amongst the astrology world feared specifically because mercury retrograde happens two to three times a year and two to three times a year every astrologer comes out of their shell and says be careful mercury retrograde you're all gonna die be carefully mercury's back in the microwave mercury's in gatorade all the jokes you guys know the gist the thing is retrograde is simply not any chaos it's not any of the things people say it are other than a time of self-reflection a retrograde is when it, a planet appears to be moving backwards from our point of view. And so this is a call for us to move backwards on our thought process, to reflect on things, to see things differently. So what does it mean for Pluto to be going retrograde back into Capricorn? This is the final step in our journey around healing our wounds around the Capricorn archetype. Like I said, Pluto being in Capricorn highlighted themes for us around authority. And so now with P Pluto re-entering Capricorn in its retrograde, this is inviting us to reflect one last time around our father wounds, around our relationship with authority, and our relationship with self-discipline and self-mastery. It might, though, feel like we're moving backwards at first. So if you have a moment today or moving forward where you feel like, oh, I'm just falling back into my old patterns or this feeling of woundedness is coming out of nowhere, know that's because Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn. And so this is bringing some wounds that we thought we had wrapped up uh, healing are coming back to the surface. Again, it can feel like we're moving backwards, but we're not. It's just an appearing to move backwards, which is a call to reflect. So chances are when Pluto is in Capricorn, right before it entered Aquarius, you feel like you wrapped up your journey around healing your relationship with father figures, with your sense of authority. You might've felt that you finally freed yourself from any last uh, restrictions of any kind. You might've even focused on how you want to discipline yourself and how you want to have a relationship with self-mastery. You found that perfect balance of self-growth and, and uh, of self-care, so to say. But now that Pluto retrograde re-enters Capricorn, those things are gonna come back to the surface and it's a call to look at it one last time before we finally release those wounds. So it's gonna feel scary. It's gonna trigger some old wounds. You might feel that you're called to heal during this time and that's exactly what you should do. Pluto is the planet of death and transformation. So when it re-enters Capricorn, we are going to transform in a massive way, both individually and collectively. Collectively during this time, we might notice uh, old restrictions coming up during this time where they can feel like uh, the government or society is trying to impose more rule upon us and take away our own self-mastery, our own self-authority. And this can panic us all, but we know, need to know to stay calm during this time and know that it's going to pass. And this is actually going to be a release. Pluto's about death. And so death of old things are coming from this transit of Pluto re-entering Capricorn. This is a death of old ways of owning authority, death of negative ways of owning authority, both collectively and individually. And this is a call to be reborn in our sense of self-authority and as a collective. During this time of uh, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, once again, 
it might appear as old systems and old authorities resurfacing that are causing restriction and annoyance and are generally negative, but these are coming up only to fall away. Where it's like we're double checking one last time, like, hmm, yeah, I don't want that. And so stay calm when these things surface, both individually and societally during this time, and know that they are going to fall away. Stay aligned with your values and know that you do not have to own any sort of systems that do not serve your soul. After all, the death of one thing leads to the birth of another. So think about what you want your relationship with authority to be, both your own inner authority and societal authority and authorities around you. And stay aligned in integrity with those things. Also, one last note. Look at your chart and check your sun and rising and look at where Capricorn lies based on those placements. If you are a Capricorn sun, this is going to be highly focused on your own individual sense of inner authority or if you have a Capricorn rising and so on. So look at the sign your sun is in and calculate how many uh, signs away is Capricorn. That's what house it'll be in for you and check your rising and see what house uh, the final degrees of Capricorn are in. After all, it's re-entering Capricorn from Aquarius. So the side of Capricorn that is touching Aquarius, whatever house that is in, is going to be the theme for you during this Capricorn retrograde. For me, it'll most likely be themes around my everyday reality because that is my third house. It could also eventually cover some themes of monetary uh, success and it could make me reflect on my career because I'm an Aries sun. The differences are all dependent on your astrology. And if you want to find out how exactly that transit's going to affect you in detail so you can know how to navigate this chaos that's going to feel like we are being broken from the inside out, hit the link in the description below to book a 30-minute reading with me right now so I can guide you through this transit in detail based on your chart. If you don't know your time of birth, you will still get a lot of benefit from this 30-minute reading. And if you know your time of birth, you definitely need to book this reading to find out how Mercury retrograding Capricorn is going to affect you. So hit the link in the description below to book your reading now. If you decide, you know what, I'm just going to let life hit me. I'm going to let this transit hit me. Make sure you get your My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie now so that you can justify, you know what, it was my horoscope's fault, not mine. I just let the energy affect me. You can also check out the free birth chart workbook and the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle in the links in the descriptions below. Those are both great for people who love to learn individualistically and on their own. If you're interested in astrology and self-development, you need those now. Let me know what other questions you have about Pluto retrograde re-entering Capricorn in the comments below and I will do my best to get around to answering them. I have hundreds of comments coming in a day and so I do my best to try to find the ones that are the most urgent and answer those. I love every one of you and thank you guys so much for being subscribers here at Be The Hero and if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button now. Anyway, try to enjoy this transit. Mercury or Pluto re-entering Capricorn is truly a powerful transit for us. It's going to be very healing and it's something we should look forward to, not fear. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's astrology of the day and more videos covering the, ba the big transits that are coming our way. Once again, my name's Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.